Hello guys and welcome back to JAM Chemistry class. And of course in this class I'm going to be looking at very evidently preparation of acid and bases. This is a continuance of our episode or our series on what acid, bases and salt. If you have been joining us since, it is very good. Alright, so but do not forget that this video tutorial of course is brought to you by the OT School JAM CBT Practice app. It is the best CBT Practice app you have available there. It has all the past questions you need for example, both the recent and the old ones. Right, even last year past question is on the app right so you can get that app there's a study mode there's a practice mode there's a mock mode there's an exam mode you can take any of this mode to practice what's more important is the utme challenge that has been conducted for all students that are participating that are participating in jam or writing jam this year you are going to win prizes while you are writing that or partaking that challenge every week right every week till the one week before your exam you part participate in what in that challenge weekly so the most important one is not the prizes you are winning it is the what it is it is your score that you are seeing after every challenge so you see your score there's a breakdown for english mathematics you know how many score per subject so once you see your, see your score you know your weak areas and you're able to work, to work on them that is the beauty right so you should what jump on that app it is being currently displayed on the screen right now get that app download it install it activate it activation is three thousand naira now previous year it was 2005 even the previous two years it was 2000 naira so it keeps on going up things keep on going up so please do not sleep on the app pass your jam at once now let's head back to what we have for today preparation of acids and bases so we're going to see how we prepare acids first then before we move on to how to prepare what bases this video tutorial is going to be actually very short all right so number one how do you prepare acid Number one, by combination, combination of constituent elements. All right, by combination of constituent what element? This is one way of what of preparing what acids. Right, so we'll look for what for the constituent elements in the acid, and we'll combine them together. We we'll react them together. For example, uh, in the preparation of hydrochloric acid, hydrogen gas. Right. React to what with chlorine gas Cl2 to give us what HCl. So this is what hydrochloric what acid. But of course, this reaction is not well balanced, right? There's a two here, two hydrogen atoms here. There are two chlorine atoms here, but just one one here. So putting two here, we just balance this. So this is one way we can what we can prepare what acid by the combination of constituent elements. I'm sure that one is very very clear. All right. So now let's see another method. For preparing what acid to by dissolving acid anhydrides in water, right? By dissolving acid anhydrides in water. First of all, the most important thing we want to assess is water, acid, and hydrides. Acid and hydrides are molecules that are capable of forming acid solutions. Let me put it down so that you can get it clearly. Acid and hydrides are molecules, molecules that are capable, capable of forming acid solutions. All right. So when you dissolve acid and hydrides in water, Right, you can what prepare use that method to prepare what an acid. For example, an an anhydride like SO3 reacting with what with water when dissolve with what uh, an anhydride like SO3 in water you are going to have what H2SO4. All right, so this is one way of what preparing what H2SO4. But you need to check Z balance. Check this equation whether it's balanced. There's uh, four of oxygen here. Let's start with hydrogen. There's two hydrogen atoms here. There are two hydrogen atoms here. Hydrogen is balanced. So let's go to sulfur. We have one sulfur here, and then we have one sulfur here, right? We have four oxygen here. One plus three is four oxygen atoms. Then there are four oxygen atoms here. You see that this equation is well, well, very, very, very well balanced. So this is one way of what of preparing what of preparing what acid by dissolving acid and hydrides in water, right? Now let's see another method for preparing acid. Another method for preparing acid is by displacing by displacing a weak or volatile acid from 
insult from insult using what a strong acid All right so by using what a stronger acid using a very strong acid to displace to displace a weak or volatile acid from what from its salt. All right. So when we have a, a very very strong acid, and then we have we have what a solution of what is salt, right? Solution of what of salt. Then what we can now what use that strong acid to displace what the what the uh, the weaker acid or volatile acid from what from that salt. For example, let's see where what sodium chloride NaCl right reacts with what H two SO four which is a very strong acid, right? So now I'm going to now have what? Na2SO4 then plus what? What will be left? HCl. All right? So this is another way we can use to what? To prepare what? An acid. By using what? A strong acid to displace a weak or volatile acid from what? From its salt. All right? So a strong acid like H2SO4, right? To displace what? A weak or volatile acid from what from you saw to get what hydrochloric hydrochloric what acid. Now I need to check whether it's balanced. Is it balanced? Uh from here, does it look balanced? All right, I think it's balanced. Let's see. Sodium is one here, one atom of sodium here. Okay, there are two atoms of sodium here. So sodium is not balanced to start with. So two will be here, first of all. Then of course, uh H2SO4. Uh, let's look at uh, chlorine now. Is chlorine balanced here? One chlorine atom, two chlorine atoms here. So chlorine is not balanced. So chlorine two need to go here also. All right. So now let's see. Chlorine is balanced now. Two atoms of chlorine, two atoms of chlorine, two atoms of sodium, two atoms of sodium. Right. What's left? Oxygen. Four atoms of oxygen here. Four atoms of oxygen here. So four is one. It's one here. So it's finally what balanced. So when you use what a strong acid, right, or a stronger acid, right, by using what let me say a stronger acid by using a stronger acid. When you use a stronger acid to what to displace a weak or volatile acid from what from its salt, then you are going to now have what another what acid what form. All right, that's why you see that you can easily prepare what hydrochloric acid also by displacing what uh, by displacing a weak or volatile acid from the solution of a salt. All right, now these are what some of the methods can use to prepare what uh, acids. Now let's quickly look at bases. Let's look at bases to drive this point home. All right. Now to prepare bases, there are no, there are not really any general method for preparing bases, right? But of course, specific methods do exist for what for some what for some bases or alkalis, right? So for bases, right? So number one, one of the methods for preparing a preparing a base is the electrolysis of brine, right? Electrolysis of brine. These are faults. It affords, affords NaOH, Cl2, and hydrogen was gas, right? So electrolysis of brine was these are three products. It's a typical example question. The electrolysis of brine gives us what three products: sodium hydroxide, chlorine gas, and hydrogen gas. Like, but a lot of us don't know do not know what brine is. Brine is brine is aqueous. NaCl, aqueous or sodium chloride, or you call it what? Uh, a concentrated solution, solution of salt in water. All right. So brine is what is aqueous NaCl, or a con or a concentrated solution of salt in water. So when you do uh, take uh, do the electricity of brine, right? By passing electricity through what brine, this NAC, this aqueous NaCl. When you pass electricity through what uh, any uh, aqueous NaCl, right? It decomposes and forms what three products, which are what sodium hydroxide, chlorine, and what and what and hydrogen, what gas. All right. So this is what happens during the world the electricity of brine. Let's see the the reaction, right? So we are going to have NaCl then plus what H2O. Right to give us what sodium hydroxide, right? Then plus what uh, Cl two, then plus what plus H two. So this is the reaction. I need to check whether it's balanced to start with. All right. So is it balanced? I don't think it's completely balanced. If you put a two here, right? We put a two here. Mm, is it balanced now? I think it's balanced. Let's check. 
Now there are what here yeah, there are two uh, two sodium atoms here. Yeah, just one. Okay, it's not balanced here. Two two has to be here. So two NOH. So that to balance here now, I'm going to have two sodium atoms, two sodium atoms. Uh, for chlorine, we have uh, two uh, chlorine atoms here. We have two chlorine, chlor uh, chloride atoms here. So that one is for balance. Sodium and chlorine is what's balanced. Now, hydrogen. There's, there are four atoms of hydrogen here. There's two here, there's two here. So two plus two is four. All right, so oxygen now, there are two here, and then there's two here. So it's completely what's balanced now. So electrolysis of brine, right? That is passing electricity through what? Through brine. That is uh, aqueous NaCl or a concentrated solution of salt in water. Once you pass electricity through what? That what? Uh, that aqueous solution of NaCl, you see that what? It decomposes and forms what? Sodium hydroxide, chlor uh, chlorine gas, and hydrogen gas. Right, so this is another, another way of, of producing uh, chlorine gas industrially. All right, so make sure that what you just put that at the back of your head. Okay, now let's see number two. Number two, another method for, for preparing what uh, basis or alkalis, of course, is the decomposition, thermal decomposition. Let's say the thermal decomposition, thermal decomposition of limestone. Thermal decomposition of limestone, which is what CaCO3, CaCO3. Yes, thermal decomposition of what of limestone. So when limestone is what is heated in a kiln, it's usually what heated what in a kiln. K I L K I L N. Right? When limestone is heated in a kiln, right? A kiln is like um, uh, is is a is is a is a thermally insulated chamber. A thermally insulated chamber or you can say what or an oven right that's what a kiln is so when limestone is what is heated in this in this kind of oven right it decomposes to what to form what calcium oxide cao and carbon oxide co2 right so these are the two products the thermal decomposition of limestone gives us two products calcium oxide and what and carbon oxide now let's see so if you have c a CO3 uh, decomposes to what give us calcium oxide then plus what CO2. Now this process, this process of the thermal decomposition of limestone itself is called calcining. Calcining. This is the process. The process is called what calcining, right? So put that at the back of your mind too. So the thermal decomposition of limestone gives us what calcium what oxide. So when we burn, when we burn what uh, calcium oxide or limestone, it gives us what calcium what. Uh, when when we burn, burn calcium carbonate, right? Uh, calcium carbonate, you uh, give it gives us what calcium what oxide. All right. So these are the product of what of the thermal decomposition of of limestone. That process is called what calcining. So please just put that at the back of your mind. So we have seen what some method for preparing acids. Likewise, we have seen some method for preparing what some specific what basis. All right. So this is where I'm going to draw the line today. Uh, make sure you have liked this video. Give this video a like so that other students can easily find this video and learn also. Also. Make sure you watch you subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free. Click on that red subscribe button just below this video and make sure you share this video for others what to watch and learn. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.